Okay, so this cooking episode, we are, I have the perfect snickerdoodle cookies that I'm going to modify to make lemon sugar cookies. Because <laughs> I made the snickerdoodles and they tasted like sugar cookies. So, why not lemon sugar cookies? So, the ingredients are one cup of butter, a cup and a half of sugar, two eggs, for the snickerdoodles it's vanilla, but we're going to make lemon, so we have lemon extract. I already have the two, two cups and three quarters of a cup of flour, and then it's cream of tartar, tablespoon and a half, teaspoon of baking soda, an eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And the oven's at 375 degrees, already preheated with parchment paper on the cookie sheet. So let's get started. So I have two bowls here. The first bowl is the flour, cream of tartar, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. Mix that together. In this bowl, I'm going to mix the butter, eggs, and sugar, and lemon extract. I'm supposed to whip that and then mix it together then bake. So let's do this. Cream of tartar. Let's start. <laughs> Teaspoon and a half. Mm -hmm. Love these things. When I first found this recipe, I really wanted sticker doodle cookies, but I don't remember what sticker doodle cookies tasted like or what the difference was between sticker doodle cookies and uh, sugar cookies. Cinnamon, that's the difference. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm putting everything over here so I don't forget that I. You know, I've already used it. I don't want to double the salt and anything. Baking powder. And a teaspoon of baking soda. Not too much. And that's it for all the dry stuff. Stick that in. We'll start with the sugar. A cup and a half of that. Butter. One cup of that. Sure, we get all the butter in there. Mmm, cholesterol. Sounds horrible. So we start to cream that together. And originally, this recipe says to use a mixer, but we want some exercise today, so we're just gonna whip this up like it owes me money. eggs and the lemon. So a tablespoon of lemon. Teaspoon, teaspoon. Don't use a tablespoon. You have really lemony cookies and they'll be gross. And you have the tart face. I want the tart face. Oh a little little. She might get a little tart face. You want to do that again? The, the tar do the, the tar Okay. I'm sure there's a sound that goes with that. Like, tar. <laughs> ah, smells like lemon. Certainly hope so. 
some lemon extract. Get all our egg in there. Ooh, yeah. All right, so we mix this together, whip it up, mix it with the dry. Bake the cookie. The question is, do we add a little bit of sugar on top of the cookie? Or we bake it as is? So when we get to that point, we'll make that decision. Yeah, it's the same. Give me that. Give me that. I'm with it. Very good. Almost looks like a lemon custard. you're supposed to do this slowly add the, the dry to the wet but eh, that's what red silo does and the reason I don't use the whisk for this part is every time I use the whisk it would just get all clogged up and you have a clump in the center of it and over here just banging it Darren in the other room. What's going on in there? Making cookies. <laughs> What'd they do to you? <laughs> All right. It's coming along. And now, of course, my arm's tired. I think I'm getting a cramp in my hand. Hint, hint, or not so subtle hint. Christmas. Yeah. Or your birthday. Which one comes first? <laughs> it should be after Christmas. <laughs> All right. Question: Sugar or no sugar? Sugar or no sugar? Now, for the Snickerdoodle recipe, this is to make little balls to chill this in the fridge for however long it says, 30 minutes, optional. I don't chill it. I only chill it in between uh, each cooking batch. Uh, so I think we'll make the, the little bundles for the cookies and then sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top. Okay, so I'm gonna make some Normal size cookies this time. I got what I've dubbed my cookie spoon. This little rounded spoon. I love parchment paper. You don't have to do anything to it. <laughs> it's just lay it down, slap a cookie on it, call it a day. that we filled with sugar and for those of you who don't drink tea this is where you put loose tea leaves in I mean you could use a sifter but this is a uh, cute and self-contained So you don't have an excess amount of sugar. Now we put this in the oven, 375, 10 minutes. Let's see what the first batch looks like. Woohoo! Woo oh, what not to do? Okay. 
see you in 10. cool and we get the second batch in and then we'll do a taste test this is the second batch that was uh chilling in the fridge for the 10 minutes for the first batch to cook so we're gonna go ahead and get that set up while those over there cool down and then we'll do a taste test to see if this is worth making again Almost uniform. Yay! There we go. Close the infuser. You have been sugared. You have been sugared. You have been sugared. I feel like I should be doing something besides. I should say something as I sugar each cookie. <laughs> <laughs> you are now pronounced sweet. <laughs> All right, ten more minutes for batch number two. Now, with my cookie spoon, the only rounded spoon I got out of a like forty-five silverware set. Um, gives me these nice sized cookies over here and with that I make about 30 35 35 cookies about this size so yay. okay so while second batch is cooking we're gonna do a taste test if these are cool enough to eat to see if these are worth making again dun 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 making again you get a hint of lemon but it's not overwhelming and go great with a cup of tea a cup of coffee a glass of milk mm. Yay! so thanks for watching god bless stay safe and see you next time It's been chilling for 10 minutes since it's for the... <laughs>